Get truth. serious, y'all. Get serious. Shenanigans. Come on, Robbie. Right. What you got? Robbie Rock, you wanted to talk about this ridiculous abortion law in Texas. What is up with that? So, Texas Governor Abbott signed a new abortion law that went into effect September 1st. And the U.S. Supreme Court remained pretty silent on this one. And the new law went into effect, and it effectively bans abortions after six weeks of pregnancy. The law allows private citizens to sue abortion providers and anyone else who helps a woman to obtain a, an abortion. So that's someone who gives them a ride to the clinic or provides financial assistance to, to receive an abortion. And I have just been blown away by the ridiculousness of this. And I really wanted to hear thoughts from the ladies initially. And Johnny, I would like to start with you. Johnny, what are you thoughts? Okay. Um, so I know that right now the, the U.S. government is actually trying to protect women who are seeking abortion um, against Texas, the Texas abortion ban. So my issue with this specifically is that since the law in Texas, like since that law has been enacted, it's prevented at least 85 percent of procedures previously completed in the state. So what about the women that genuinely need medical um, treatment and or not medical treatment that have medical issues and can't get pregnant or can't carry a pregnancy or what about the examples including like the abuse victims what about the underage children there's been reports of children as young as 11 that were pregnant um, what about the trans men who were like kind of grappling with this dysphoria i think it's called dysphoria yes that's a great point so the the issue of the um for me is that texas has such strict abortion laws one it's already hard to get funding for abortion um if you if you are pro-choice it's hard to get funding for abortion i know friends um they're not friends now but old friends that i've grown up with that have not were not able to get funding for abortion they ended up having the children the children are living in unsafe environment they're living and by unsafe i mean like around people and and obviously in uh project mm -hmm. areas so it's an unsafe environment and these women don't really care to take care of their children because they didn't want them in the first place so taking away the choice in texas and then also it's it's the funding issue um i i don't i have i i don't necessarily like talking about abortion not because i've experienced it personally but because it's like it's like talking about women's choice to ch like health like it's women's health and it's the laws against it make it hard for us to have a choice with our own body basically yeah. Um, um yeah i just, oh, I just I want to point out some quick comments before we go to lizzie uh Atlanta carrero says uh i seriously thought this law was a joke when i heard it on my amazon news briefing and uh jose says right i googled it at least five articles just to make sure it wasn't bogus uh, blown away and i did the same thing i was like i was shocked i was oh. like wait a minute how is this possible uh, but lizzie yeah um i will forever have this as my mantra as it relates to abortion whether you are for or against whether you're pro-life or pro-choice if you do not believe in abortions don't have one plain and simple stay out of my business you don't know where i'm coming from you don't know my point of reference you don't know what i've been through you don't know the circumstances that has led me to this point where i feel like i need to have an abortion but more importantly to rob's topic this is obviously another case of a bunch of men you know we still live in the united states even though we say this is the land of the free we still live in a patriarchal society here and this is an example of men, particularly white men, who have no idea of how the female body works, who have no idea about our reproductive system, who have no idea about our menstrual cycle. Okay? Right. Six weeks? Are you That's kidding me? Yep. I, 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 yeah. You, that pissed me off the most it, because you don't even know that you're pregnant sometimes at six weeks or i mean six weeks you a, a lot of people especially young girls so okay i not even a I chance to I miss got, a, a 
not enough time to miss a period. Right. I, 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 first, I got my first period when I was 10. I developed very early. I developed boobs when uh -huh. I was nine. I developed, I, you know, got my menstrual cycle, my, my period when I was 10, but it wasn't regular. Okay. It mm -hmm. was not regular. A lot right. of young girls, a lot of teenagers, mm -hmm. they're not on a regular cycle. A lot of teenagers right. are sexually active. A lot of teenagers mm -hmm. have been sexually assault, assaulted, including myself. So I, you know, if I had gotten pregnant when I was assaulted by a family member at the age of 10, when I had started menstruating, there's no way I would have known mm -hmm. that I was pregnant. But per this law, I would be in violation. I could be sent to jail. And let me tell yep. you, and I've said this on the show before because I was asked if I had gotten pregnant during that time, would I have had the baby? Not only would I have not had the baby, would I have wanted to have the baby as a preteen, my mother would have shut that shit down with the quickness. So this is what I'm saying when I say men don't understand biologically, medically, what women go through. It, it's not a matter of, oh, okay, you get your period. It comes like clockwork every, you know, four weeks. That's not the case. Especially mm -hmm. given, think about this. We just had a series of shows before we went on our summer break. We had a series of shows where we talked about the Olympics. We had two Olympic athletes on. Female athletes don't have regular menstrual cycles. They don't. Yep, sure. And so what if one of them gets pregnant and they are like eight weeks? They don't know. You're going to send them to jail mm -hmm. if they make the decision to have an abortion. You're going to send Gianni to jail, me to jail, because we drive our friend to the clinic. Because that's what this law is implying. That not oh, nice. only would the woman who has the abortion be eligible for some type of prosecution and jail time, her friend that helped her, that assisted her, would also be mm -hmm. in the court, penalized. kind of defending herself, penalized. Yeah. And so this is, again, this is a bunch of men who don't know what they're talking about. That, I think even more so than the actual law, the idea behind the law pisses me off because it's, a, it's, a, it's control, wanting mm -hmm. to control our bodies, but not having the information. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was going to say, too. I think I, it's like real quick, an older... I just want to say one thing. I just okay. want to address one thing. So, Liz, I don't think this is the first time you mentioned that you were sexually assaulted. I think it's the first time you, you mentioned it was at 10 years old, though. So I'm sorry that you had to go through that. But, Yanni Storm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, like Liz was saying, not only is it men that don't know what they're talking about, I think you kind of can't. How can you not know what you're talking about when medical professionals are telling you that six weeks is way too soon? But also, uh, besides that, Texas and a lot of southern states are, have a very old traditional mentality when it comes to law. So there's a bunch of old farts not wanting to change. <laughs> yeah. That's really what it is. Like, that's really completely what it is. Um, and like you said, Liz, control. It's, so, it's totally, that, and that was going to be my, my main focus of, of what I wanted to say is that it's totally about this has nothing to do with mm -hmm. men, and I've said this before, that the, the thing, the one thing that men cannot control is whether or not they can have children. They cannot control, they can try to control everything else. You know, they, they can try to control people's actions, people's, they, you know, but you, men don't have wombs. Women can go out mm -hmm. and, you know, get some sperm from somebody and they, they can have children. If they, I mean, it's not that simple, obviously, there's people who struggle, but, you know, Women have the means to have children. Men do not. And uh -huh. these men only care about controlling that, being able to control the ability to have children or not have children. And again, it doesn't matter if it's rape, incest, whatever. They don't really care. It's just about making sure. And it's a shame when some women are the, the, the female supporters. And I get about life. I hear you about life because I, I'm anti-abortion. I'm personally anti-abortion. I don't like abortion as a concept. I don't like abortions happening. But women have to be able Holy to control shit. what happens to their body. Regardless of what I feel about abortion, think about abortion, that doesn't matter. 
That woman has to be able to control her body, know her situation, know what's, and it has to be safe for her. Um, but also, yeah. too, I think men can control it. You don't want to. You don't want to get a woman pregnant. Put a condom on. Don't have Male sex with control. random people. Think about think about the idea that a woman gestation period for a woman is ten months. Full term is ten months, not nine. Full term is ten months. <laughs> Within that ten months, she cannot get pregnant again. Right. In yeah. that ten months, a man can impregnate myriad women. Numerous mm -hmm. amounts of women, mm -hmm. and so yes, they can control it. They well, just well, they can't not. control the, uh, the, the. But the, but I'm talking about mechanism. even before getting. I'm talking about even before getting to the. They control thing. not having. And it. this is and this is what this is what these lawmakers don't address. They don't address the male role, the male involvement in this. Because, Thank you, Liz. Yeah, we, we have all of these yeah. people want to talk about baby mamas. We have all of these guys who have multiple children by different women, yep. some of whom are the same exact age. So yep. let's talk about that. Or these lawmakers who, okay, they want to control whether or not I have an abortion, they want to force me to have a baby. What are you going to offer me if the baby is born? Because they are the ones yes. who are also exacting the same laws, the same type of laws that are preventing me from getting any type of government assistance, that exactly. Are you know, medical <laughs> mm -hmm. assistance, education, all of this stuff. Running and so time. that's Let's why I'm just RB like, real quick. Yep. get out of my yep. room, get out of my life. That's, Thank I you. I think Liz was just Thank kind you. of tapping into my brain there because that is the irony of <laughs> these abortion bills is that it's the, the complete lack of male inclusion. Women don't just magically become pregnant. There's a man attached to every single abortion. So why aren't they being included in the jail time? Why aren't they being included mm. in the fines? Because, like Neo said, this isn't about abortion. It's about men controlling women. And it's not about just controlling the birth cycle, Neo. It's just about control. It's, an easy, it's easy for white men to flex their power just to remind the women folk that, you know, they have to kneel before them. But this is an archaic right. way of thinking. And it, this harkens back to what Johnny was saying. There's some old school thinking when it comes to I like the legal process in Texas. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> and if they were really talking about abortion, then we'd be discussing early and continuing sex education. We'd be talking about free birth control. Yes. We'd be talking about yes. health care for everyone, making child care financially yes. feasible. We'd be talking about exactly. mandatory parental All leave. Of it. Yeah. Increasing WIC, harder sentencing for rape. Yes. And, oh. When General, yeah, that's General, true. When Governor Abbott said that he wants to eliminate all rapists from the streets in Texas, I want to know: is he talking about prison rape too? Because there's a strong culture of that happening in that area too. <laughs> <laughs> and I can I just, like, just say very quickly: when very, we talk very about quickly. abstinence. Abstinence. Remember Sarah Palin, who who was on an abstinence yeah. platform. One of her daughters had two kids out of wedlock, so she wasn't practicing abstinence. Her son also had a child or conceived a child out of wedlock abstinence does not work we are humans humans like to have sex right. period let me get to these comments there's a <laughs> lot of comments about this topic i just want to show this real quick this is the dallas cowboys cheerleaders at the first oh. game football game oh <laughs> dressing up like handmaid's tail <laughs> up in texas so i thought that was uh <laughs> that, was <great. laughs> that was quite a statement um all right but Let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, Olivia says, I don't necessarily believe in abortion. My issue is Texas, stop picking and choosing what you want to follow. Alain Carrera says, um, um, I legit did the same taking a look at other articles. I thought I for sure misunderstood. Jacqueline Robinson says, it's disgusting. Women are uh, seen as host bodies. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. there is no effort to mandate that men get vasectomies, which are reversible. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Alan says, amen, Lizzie. Um, uh, Saima, Saima Fatima. She says, hey, truth, Saima. Liz, I didn't even know I was pregnant at six weeks. There uh, you this go. isn't yeah. about children. This is still Saima. Saima with two kids. Yep. Saima is married with two kids. This isn't about children. Wow. This is about politics and control. Uh, Jacqueline yep. Robinson says this is about white men being 
in a panic because the recent census numbers indicate that they are fast becoming the minority in the U.S. <laughs> Don't preach um, too much, Jacqueline. Jump in. Well, that's true. That is true, though, Jacqueline. And Ade says, uh, I got two more. Ade says, I'm sorry you had to go through that experience, Lizzie. Um, and Jeanette Brown says, this is a narcissistic abuse. It's about power and control. It's about making examples of individuals to scare others. Misogyny, sexism, keeping women in their place. It also makes more women with children. Um, which, yes. So, um, yes. And she says, well, my nar narcissistic grandfather was from Texas, go figure. And just think about all of the U.S. presidents who have had myriad affairs. How many, yes. ab how many abortions, like Marilyn Monroe had tons of abortions. Yes. She was sleeping with JFK and RFK. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, uh, Sherry Blaine Priest, this last one, education, right on, Rod B. Rock, Whoa. right on. All right, that was a deep. Truth. Thank you for the topic, Rob. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Oh, thank you for your. I don't want to talk about this for two weeks. I was, I was, so, I was actually disappointed we didn't have a show to talk about it. All right, <laughs> yeah. so we got to lighten this up a little bit. We let's get into our game show. We got to make it quick.